Border plants are the perfect finishing touch for any garden, whether you're wanting to line a pathway or complete a newly planted flower bed. These plants, whether tall or short, sprawling or compact, help you create the appearance of professionally planned places in your garden. Garden beds, walks, and any edge in the landscape benefit from a border of plants because of the added color, movement, and texture they provide. These seven plants provide beautiful borders without requiring a lot of care. Some come with additional benefits that will increase the value of having a competitive edge. Number one, Ladies Mantle. Ladies Mantle has tiny greenish yellow flowers that look like little lace and help soften hard corners. Since they don't grow very tall and don't attract much attention, they're perfect for filling in empty spots without stealing the spotlight from more prominent plants. You shouldn't have to water it more than once a week after it's established. Protect your plants from the sun by placing mulch around their foundation. This will keep the plant hydrated without suffocating it. A highly adaptable plant, Ladies Mantle thrives in USDA plant hardiness zones 3 to 8. Number 2. Black Mondo Grass Look no further if you want a low-maintenance, show-stopping border plant. Black Mondo Grass's midnight black blades stand out against any background. As it matures to a height and width of about 12 inches, it is ideal for use as an edging plant. The cute but annoying rabbits and deer won't eat your black mondo grass garden. This grass prefers warm conditions and a wide range of humidity, so it does best in USDA plant hardiness zones 6 to 9. Despite this, it does not thrive in direct sunlight and would rather have some shade than none at all. Number 3. Creeping Thyme The height and width of this herbaceous perennial can reach a maximum of 18 and 6 inches, respectively. The flowers it produces in the summer will add a subtle touch of beauty to your flower gardens without drawing attention away from your other plants. The ideal growing conditions for Creeping Thyme are those that mimic its native Mediterranean climate, or USDA zones 4 to 9. Thyme grows well in warm climates, but it doesn't fare well in humid ones. If you want your plant to stay open, regular pruning is a must. By removing the worn out leaves, you can maintain the fullness and beauty of the plant. Number four, Trickler Sage. When in bloom, the Trickler Sage's little violet blooms add a pop of color to the plant. The purple hues go with a wide range of other colors and textures, making it a versatile addition to any flower bed. This gorgeous low maintenance herb can also be used in a variety of decorative ways. It thrives in full sun, but in warmer climates would benefit from some afternoon shade. Similarly to creeping thyme, it prefers a warm, dry climate. Trickler sage can withstand dry conditions after it has taken root. This is the ideal plant to use if you have an ant problem in any of your flower beds. Number five, lavender. Unquestionably, lavender is a must have for any backyard. This classic plant complements any bed flawlessly. Lavender's beauty and smell captivate everyone's interest and attract some wonderful garden guests. You should expect to see an increase in the number of bees and other helpful insects in your yard. Lavender is also near the top of a long list of plants that flourish in poor soil. As a result of not being picky about anything, they require little in the way of upkeep. As an extra bonus, this beautiful border plant can also be used to make essential oil or a soothing tea. USDA plant hardiness zones 5 to 9 are ideal for lavender. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us.
We'll see you in the next videos.